All right, welcome to another video. This is like the pre-intro before the intro with Quaker X. Um, he is making sure he has enough battery in his controller, and I am here just waiting until he gets back. So this is the intro, and I will see you when Quaker X magically appears in front of me. Hi YouTube, we are here back. I'm with Quaker X, one of the Dungeons of Eternity developers with other eight, and we're here to go over some stuff. We're on the live build, and yeah, take it away. What what are we gonna be getting into today? Oh man, well we're working on all sorts of new stuff, so we could talk about some of that. Uh, we've got some a little bit of a Steam news as well. We yeah put that up the other day so we can talk a little bit about that That's yeah new features and any other questions you have we can just run around and own some dungeons and chit chat perfect perfect yes sounds like a blast let's uh let's go find a dungeon and sure. get right to it then well i will say you know what we finally got this working so this is no a way part. really yes so oh my this gosh. will be coming no way it's em it's been oh. empty for a while you know yeah, yeah. Wait, we finally got someone other... to restock it. So. Is it only that one? I felt like there was another one somewhere, but I guess um, I guess it was just that one. Just that one for now, but yeah, we may add a couple more, so you yeah, can have makes... different types of, you know, liquid. Goodness. Yeah, that that is pretty cool. <laughs> I I haven't really checked that out. I didn't even. I mean, I knew that I could do that, but that was actually the first time that I've actually like moved that nozzle, so. That's, that's really clean, and once water comes out, or, or booze, whatever is coming what, out of there. You know, I think it's going to be a health potion that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> we okay, don't know what, okay. You know, it's just, they're just storing whatever is in there. We don't really know what's in there. Just something. Okay, well, yeah. whatever comes out, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> but, perfect. All right, well, into here. Let's oh, I guess there's also, uh, maybe before we get into a dungeon, do you have any uh news or updates on that social hub oh yeah work okay. in progress basically it, is there anything <laughs> that like you could show off in here that would make sense to the youtube to the viewer or is that just something that you'd have to talk about and eventually they'll see yeah those? right now we don't have anything that we can that connects to this basically you're probably going to access the mega lobby from uh the main menu maybe okay. have a point in here where you can you know hop over there meet up with new people and like then join portal. back in the outpost yeah like possibly portal. a portal right this there. might become a doorway to something else um, okay okay so one of the features i can talk about today but we may move that somewhere else so we're still sort of figuring out the details there but yeah right. the, the social lobby mega lobby it's got its own name as well uh, right so we, you know, we'll announce along with it and then it's coming along though so definitely Sweet. still something we're hoping to have this year is the goal. It won't be in the next update, but the goal is to have it this year. That is exciting. Cool. And then for the, the people that don't know, this gate right here or this arch used to be yeah. a door like this. And yeah. what was it? It was the frost update, the like Christmas holiday update that you opened up this thing. And there used to be like a Christmas tree here for a little yeah. bit. The, yeah, just a little yeah. extra nook that we can stuff some more things. You know, we can move yeah. this back here, and Estimate. you know, there's going to be some other things here. Um, cool. And more room yeah, to work with. Need, yeah, just you know, move some things around, make some space for new features. So, I like it. Cool. Well, uh, yeah, let's get into the dungeon. Um, yeah, I remember you said Underworld was your favorite. We want to go for another Underworld or. Go uh, expand our horizons. That's yeah. Let's do let's do something else. Okay, I like sandstorm right. or vile halls are good. We'll we'll go sandstorm. We'll we'll okay. do the order. Um, forbidden. Let's see. Oh man, these are some complex ones. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess maleficent dungeon. That sounds good. Looks good. Yeah go with it and what difficulty do you want to do six again or we want to do a little lower because we're staffs maybe yeah we're four. staffed up so maybe we're let's staff. go you know four or five sounds good okay and i guess another thing to mention there is 
like we're we're saying we're going lower difficulty for the staffs because that we don't have enough gems to support yep. us but pretty soon i think you mentioned in that last video we did there's going to be the the storage for gems correct yes okay. so you'll be able to store things in your player room that we've tried a diff few different implementations what we're going to land on uh remains to be seen but yeah in okay. your room you'll be able to you know store potions if you want to store nine potions you can do that or if you or you know nine bombs or if you want to store nine gems i think that's the number we that don't quote me on that that may that may change but <laughs> there will Sweet. be a way to store some of that and persist across nice yeah seconds. no i i like uh the number nine that's yeah not a bad number cool <laughs> Yeah, it's it's not as bad as my uh, my fabricator with 120 pages. True, so we're, <laughs> we're good there. All right, well, uh, launching the mission and let's do it. So, um, the next update, I yeah. guess. Yeah. What what is coming in the more near future? Would you say? So in about a, less than a month is the one year anniversary of Dungeons of Eternity. Oh, nice. So we're we're gonna put together a little one year anniversary type update. Nice. There there will be some, you know, possibly some holiday themed cosmetics around that time, yep. and, and a new mode, which is the big feature of that of that okay. update, which is the sandbox mode, the first version of the sandbox mode. So. Wow. You're going to be able to go into that door that I showed you. Will probably be the way we enter that, though that may change. So you'll okay. be on the outpost, go to the door, and you'll load into the sandbox arena. And it's basically going to be like a whole new game mode where wow. you can use it just to kind of goof off and play around, spawn as many you know spawn enemies, different types, set up your own waves, set up different hazards, change yeah. your realm, and then there are different challenges like, hey, let's only do daggers this time let's only do bows this time let's do ice enemies only this time and other things we could do is whether this comes in this version or not is being able to share some of those you know those waves that you've designed or other players have designed and yep. or maybe they're you know from us as well and they're like okay this month we're gonna have this type of challenge and we have some sort of community event or tournament around it a lot of things we can do and and it'll come with one arena that kind of changes based on the realm you're in there will be some extra realms that haven't been in the game just to kind of give you know a little bit different visual variety to the game and some and then there were you know anytime we add new monsters and new weapons they'll always show up in the in the sandbox cool and you know, there yeah. could be new arenas down the road things like that so it's 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 a neat little feature like it's that's awesome it's, you go and build you know craft your your waves that you want to play and yeah you know, and that player. won't that might not seem amazing to everybody. Like there's a lot of players out there that are probably just thinking, I don't want to make my own game because sure. it's kind of like what people go to with the word sandbox is kind of like doing your own thing. You have to be creative, which you might not have to be creative, but like people think that you have to be creative and like, again, make your own game. But I've seen like with this game underdogs that I mentioned to you before, they just created a sandbox mode. They just released it as right. well. Very, very uh, recently actually. And I think it was the sandbox mode first and then they updated later and added challenges and like assignment type things. And kind of like you were explaining, like there's, uh, you can make certain challenges like daggers only or uh, just like this certain enemy, this certain boss, you have to defeat this thing. And yeah. Once you're able to share those or like as the developers yourself make that like a set dungeon, that's where it gets like amazing. And and Sandbox is kind of like the foundation for that future. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. And I, I think that everybody else should be, even if they're not super created, creative. So sure. Yeah, it's I think players will get a, a you know kick out of it and, and have a good time yeah. with it. It's also like I was saying, it's like another mode. So you can use it to you know get new weapons and get new uh, you know more XP and gold if you're kind of stuck with something or you you know stuck at a difficulty where you want to find a new weapon or you want to just change it up a bit. You'll always be rewarded in the progression, you know, towards yeah. your progression towards your character. So okay, and yeah. will you also add leaderboards? connected to those as well like for a certain dungeon would you have 
a list of like who can finish this dungeon the fastest, this set dungeon the fastest, that kind of thing. I think it can turn into that eventually at, at the first version of the sandbox. Okay. We, we may not have features like that. Right, but it, right. We can get into, you know, community built sandbox, uh, you know, waves and, and events like that and, or challenges then, yeah. you know, or challenges that we've designed and we want to have leaderboards around those per month or something, then that's something we could do. Monthly point. challenges. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, that's one of that's the big a... features. You know, we can play a little bit and, you know, yeah. I, I can mention a few others without giving everything away. But yep. yeah, definitely yep. working on plenty of new things this update, next update, and then going into next year, there's some things that are going to early next year as well. Perfect. Good to hear. Well, yeah, let's go kill some stuff and uh, see where we go, see what we do. All right. Yeah, so I got these throwable swords now, which is also a fairly recent update. Yeah. It's pretty nice being able to throw these swords. Get that with perk, me. yeah. Yeah, with that accuracy that's something now. We, you know, with over t we haven't added many new perks to the game, and that's something that hopefully, at you know, some point we can make it an update that features that. You know, yeah. The big yeah. perk update. Even add weapon perks and... No, not just exo per exo points and things like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would be exciting. Yeah, I, I think perks are those things that yeah, you already have these really cool perks, but yeah, there is a lot of potential there to add some more. So yeah, I could I could see myself enjoying some more perks at some point. <laughs> and you know, there's um. I always have to mention this. This is, this is like my own uh, personal thing that I am just like looking forward to in VR always is magic, which we're, we're using right now. We got magic. These are awesome. We've got like the slowing, we've got gravity and like I can toss enemies and do cool things. Um, yep. I love gesture based stuff and like we, these motions like just doing one simple motion that's a gesture that's all i'm talking about when it comes to gesture based um but like these staffs they they only tend to have like like the trigger and so it's yep. not really motion based aside from of course you can still swing them and use them like a melee staff too um and like swing them around with the gravity staff that kind of stuff but do you see in the future at some point adding more gesture based stuff i think you mentioned like gauntlets at one point that you'd have to like I'm guessing you would have to punch and like the punch sure. at least a little blast that kind of stuff are you thinking more like spell casting like i need to do this motion or is this maybe. i have a, a fireball and if i you know maybe do a swipe or something then it comes out as like a cool you know shock wave attack or or something and then this time i throw it if i do this gesture yeah i'm thinking both but the fireball one is more along the lines of what i'm thinking the spell sure. casting seems like it could be difficult and like high skill cap and whatever else um, especially with moving around also. quickly and everything it's exactly yeah yeah that that seems like it's got a lot of overhead to it but yeah the the simple gestures of like oh if i swing this staff i can do a strong move rather than if like i poke the staff then it just does look a little jolt that kind of simple stuff yeah i think that we would all love to add stuff like that it's almost like a new layer to the weapons you know yeah like I, if you had a power up, maybe it's a new perk type or something, or it's it's a whole new perk altogether. Just part of the existing system where you get this, you know, magical sword, or you know, you can charge it up with with trigger or something, and then you could do a certain gesture. Yeah. And like if you thrust forward and release, it does a you know more of like a a beam attack, and this one is more of like a swipe. And then if you went down, it'd be more like a shock wave or something like that. Yeah, that would add a whole new dimension to the combat and the replay right. abilities it's yeah i think it's it's definitely something we would love to do there's it's balancing that with all the other features as it, okay. you know i always say that but <laughs> yeah no it, i mean you say that for a reason because you you do you, you have a limited amount of people and like there's only a certain amount of things that you can add and to like not break the game you don't want to just like push out updates because there's another game that i'm I won't mention the game, but they kind of, they just push out a ton of updates and they've got all these features and all these incredible things that you can do, but it's ruined by the fact that everything's just janky and 
you don't want to play that's sort of the trade-off you know exactly you get yeah. and it's tough to add a bunch of new things and then make sure it's polished and bug yeah. free <laughs> the yep. more things you add the more you know opportunities for things to break you know exactly. and we keep wanting to add more weapon types because those also add a variety to the game and yeah. we are going to be adding spears the next update uh, they should okay. be coming in the next update so a whole new Sweet. class there and which you know you can stab certain enemy types throw the, the spear things like that and will you be able to do this javelin type throw right right Sweet. Yep. so being able to we continue to add new weapon types i think at some point if we stop adding weapon types and we let's let's do maybe revamp the existing ones with you know a whole other magic class system or something like that yeah. i think the magic staffs too could definitely benefit from having you know you want to take this and almost you know like gandalf slam it into the ground <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah knock them all do down that. or you know the, people of, yeah you know this would be like i have the slow staff if i could charge it or something and do a cool move like that it would slow everyone down in the room or something and right. versus like having to aim it and maybe it takes the whole crystal but it also yeah works as like a you're crowd getting control. overwhelmed crowd control yeah. and you slam it down and you know so, yeah. so there's a lot of different ways we can implement things like that yeah yeah no I'm, I'm excited for that stuff but i mean everything even the spears that is really exciting to me um and i'm guessing like when you throw these spears like this they're not going to like do that loopy thing that that these uh <laughs> things do yeah i guess yeah, they'll they, go more straight when you right. throw them yeah okay yeah i'm, I'm sure that's going to be great um i do have to mention the long swords um they do feel great for the most part and i had i've been like using them as much as possible and while they are really amazing and i i do love them in the game they do seem to be pretty janky compared to the other game uh, to the other weapons in that like you'll swing down and like for some reason it doesn't register on the like the spiders below you or like if something's too close and i, I think it kind of just has to do with the sword being so long and people not yeah. knowing that there's something in the way or whatever um but yeah it's just that that weapon just seems like it's it's the toughest one to do it's i'm it guessing the spear is the spear like a little bit easier and feels more fluid to you or what do you think yeah in a way but it, you know we are okay. limited wherever it's still like with the long sword you're dealing with you have to hold it you know typically with two hands and yep. you are you know are at that moment you're restricting your movement because you're holding it to with two hands and, and your arms yeah. get in the way and different rotations and people are different heights different arm lengths you know i'm a giant so like hitting anything below me is like easy i can i i can own with the sword <laughs> but someone <laughs> else who you know may not it may not be as comfortable for them and i've we've played all the other games that have long swords and everyone has opinions on you know which one's better or this feels right or this doesn't and to me yeah. they all kind of feel different and not one is clearly better than others so we yeah. looked at all of those and then we looked at how could we implement it the best for our game and our gameplay where yep. you know things move faster you're moving around you know all the time and there's you know enemies appear low we tried our best to i think we can continue to make it better you know any all feedback's good so if we can we can cool. keep iterating on it so yeah yeah i mean personally i think the long sword in this game is better than any other long sword um it's just like you're saying you have two hands and there's not like something connecting your hands there's a weight that like some some games try to create this artificial drag which it seems like you guys kind of yeah. tried to do that but the other games are like extremely draggy sure. and i really hate that i don't like um, that personally but right, I know other people right. do. so it's a it's a yeah you know it's a preference it's a balance Sure. yeah find like what some people like what some others don't but there's so many weapons in this game you can just kind of choose what you want um cool let's go to the next room i don't know really where we're going but <laughs> me either i'm fine with this this way let's just check it out that's actually wait this is this is a dead end i know this dungeon is huge do you have any time constraints <laughs> or like or do you want no to i do not no okay let's, cool let's, let's check it and let's do it yeah oh it's a lock and trick <laughs> In a, a <laughs> small room like this. Yeah. yeah. Being able to throw these swords is just so clean. Oh, also, are you able to hear me better now that you have those 
the settings adjusted a little bit. Yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, cool, cool. Oh. We took these stats and I don't have a crystal. I have yet to find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't. Oh. There you go. I love throwing. Oh, oh wait, behind you. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> ah, oh man. <laughs> oh, oh, you I didn't slowed even him down for him. you. Ah, there we go. Nice, nice. Oh, um, one thing I wanted. Oh, cool. We got the, got the map, too. That's perfect. Um, what I to ask about is. Um, sorry, distracted by coins. Um, <laughs> the, wow, the coins really distracted me. I don't, I don't know if I even know what I was going to say. That's okay. Let's, let's just continue. Maybe It'll I'll back. remember. Yeah, maybe I'll remember. But, uh, yeah, I, I do know one thing though. Um, there was a question I had from one of the, the active community members, uh, and he was curious to know from you. Oh, let's get this chest, by the way. Um, he was curious to know if you had like any, or you or the other team members, if you had uh, certain experiences that really influenced you uh, getting into making this game. And like, hmm. uh, if you played like World of Warcraft or like those other. Uh, I guess, mo or sure. oh, what do you call them? Yeah, just like those, MMOs those types of games. And MMOs, RPGs, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh my gosh. I could like talk forever about this. <laughs> right. You, oh, you could? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it looks like it is a good question from him. It's, yeah, and it's I a personally, just, just for some uh, context from me, I personally haven't done much of any d and I've got a bunch of D&D friends, but like I have done that. Same with World of Warcraft. I've played a ton of MMOs, but I haven't actually played World of Warcraft or like those uh the games that were yeah. really like built that really built the uh mmo scene so but yeah take well away. you know what's so funny about dungeons and dragons is i'll be i'll admit that i it's this game is compared to it so often yeah and, but i i don't i've never really played it <laughs> i played more <laughs> yeah. video games you know and watch Same. movies and i um i just right. haven't really played dungeons and dragons but yeah. it's such you know, I think that has influenced so many games and John and part of exactly other yeah. you know forms of entertainment and media in that in the genre that it's just sort of gotten to me in in right. other ways, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, actually, but, sorry to interrupt you there, but there is they're trying to make like an actual D and D game. I think Resolution yeah, I mean, partnered with you. you. Okay, so you did hear about that? Yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm assuming it's going to be a tabletop thing because that's yeah. what the game is, and that's what you know like Demio is. Mm -hmm. And but who? Yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but yeah, but yeah. What were you saying? I, I just rudely interrupt. No, no, it's okay. That's yeah. I could so many different influences. The you know this game though, we we knew early on we wanted to try and do a co-op game. That uh -huh. was so. I have I grew up playing a ton of different co-op games. Zelda is not co-op, but it's one of the biggest influencers of you know, inspirations for me in terms of gaming in general, right. but also this game. You know the dungeons yep. are are randomly generated in this game, but they're very class. They're basically classic Zelda dungeon, where you go oh, room yeah. to room to room, yep. and you know we can't do a whole lot of loops or anything like that. Or, but we do you know a little bit of backtracking, and there's the key you have to get, and there are keys to unlock doors and chests. So there's yeah. some similarities in that. I definitely see that. Yeah, and I I loved Zelda myself. So yeah, that but is... I love playing Secret of Mana growing up. I'm not sure if you ever played Secret of Mana. But it I'm was not. a old school three player Super Nintendo uh, uh, co op game, and by yeah. by SquareSoft made it, and it's it's like the old school Zelda games top down. Okay, but you could play up to three players if you had the special adapter on Super Nintendo, which no one had. So basically, everyone played it with two players. But it was gotcha. that was a huge you know childhood inspiration. I grew up playing that game and. Cool. You're, you're swapping yeah. weapons too, which is interesting. So there are some similarities there. Yeah. And then, you know, as far as like tone and and feel, and I love looking at movies for for that, where you know you these big mm. budget, you know, blockbusters and everything like that. Lord and, of the Rings. 
it's throw so the the mines of moria scene that yep. in the first movie fellowship of the ring that's like the scene that we looked at and said let's tr- let's let's try and make something like that you're kind of right. you're locked in a room together and you have you know the the ranger you have the the warrior you have the you know, dwarf or the the axe per, you know you have gandalf you have all the different types of players yeah. and everything heroes and weapon types and then you know we have obviously have to balance that with how many players we can have but that scene where you're getting overrun with enemies fighting back to back back and the the vibe of it all was definitely a huge inspiration for the rest of the game so okay. i can dive even deeper on all of that someday but <laughs> yeah I like talking about you know things that inspired us and yeah, maybe we we could have like a whole dungeon run where you're just talking about sure. that. Sure. Because <laughs> yeah. even like the I... rooms are inspired by other games or, you know, right. by, you know, whatever and so, Yeah, like yeah. for example, what is this room inspired by, do you know? This one? No, it's pretty much a generic mine. <laughs> okay. Okay. But it is really cool though. Like I could see this being in the uh, Lord of the Rings series or, or sure. just some random, yeah. Like I I feel like I recognize stuff even though it's as you say, just not really based. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. There's like some temple stuff, <laughs> and then there's yeah. a mine. Like it, some of it just doesn't it doesn't make sense. But that's also we cobble together dungeons that don't fit maybe thematically. And yeah. you know, if you kind of bl- let some of that kind of bleed into the rooms so where we have the mines, but then there's maybe some old temples or old stone structures, and then you connect to more stone structures, then it sort of all starts to blend together nicely or yeah. well enough. It, no, I mean, it just makes sense. Like, just playing as a gamer myself, like, I just, I come in here, I I never even questioned, like, oh, is this supposed to fit in with this environment? <laughs> like, right. what, what is I'm probably the only person here? that thinks that way, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you're not. I'm sure there's there's some people <laughs> there's out there. there. Uh, maybe we'll get some comments of people yeah. saying, like, yeah, I noticed that first thing I hopped into Dungeons of Eternity. <laughs> it, this was not supposed to be here. But, yeah, no, I was in a no. sewer, and then I was in a cave, and then I was in a <laughs> temple, and then, you know, then the yeah. crypts. It's an interesting way of uh, designing a, a city, yeah. an old city or something. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it it uh it makes sense. It ends up working. It works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe not make sense, but but yes, it works. It works. All right. Well, E into the hole. No mimic this time. Oh man, wait, can I not stab? Ugh! I can't stab with these swords. Rare axe. Wait, yeah, I I thought... I know that we can stab these chests with axes and daggers. I thought yeah, we could true. also do it with swords. Is that not a thing? Uh, you know, it's probably... It's a stab thing, yeah. It's a stab point thing. I, the, these axes are just set up differently. Yeah, yeah. They're set up to have stab, kind of like daggers, but I, I thought for sure that you could also get the stab perk on swords too. Is that just the the perk is totally different than? I, I, yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with the perk. It's just the way okay. the weapons are set up. There's just a tag on here that says you can do this, and it, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I might have also mentioned this last time, but um, I do love when like the the weapon gets stuck in an enemy and like yeah. it just it feels so good where you can like hit them and then it kills them and you can rip it out and kill the next thing and at the same time once you like play the game enough then well i guess for me maybe not for everybody i start to feel like oh my gosh i have to rip it out well i should just use a weapon where i don't have to rip it out so right. i can just keep continuously slaughtering <laughs> enemies so yeah i guess that's like a hard thing to balance the uh uh, convenience versus the feeling goodness. Yeah, because right? because definitely that that's that feedback you that feels so good and that you want is yeah. And and there is some some gameplay there. If your weapon's stuck in it, then you kind of we used to. Let me think. That was a while ago. Now, I think it used to stay stuck in them for a lot longer, and that became really frustrating. Right. So we found this middle ground of it just respawning back in your holster. Yeah, um, yeah I've noticed that. You know, much faster than it used to. It used to just stay, and then you had to run up to him and take it out, which was also cool. And yeah. we have talked about like a, you know, a realistic, my air quotes, mode yeah. or yeah. immersive, <laughs> super immersive type mode, and that's where the weapon would get stuck in them, yeah. and you'd have to run over there and grab it. 
Or if it, you know, if they died, then the weapon would stay there and you'd have to go over there and, and get it. Back. And that's, that's something that, I mean, we didn't even get to PCVR yet, but that's something yeah. that PCVR kind of like opens the doors to exploring. Is that kind of, kind of where Yeah, that might be something that makes more sense there, though it would be totally fine and, and it, we could do it on this platform too. But okay, wow. Yeah. Nice. It would be just like another mode or another setting if you wanted to, you know, even this when you take it, the weapon out. I think we have a setting for that, don't we? Uh, oh, oh, the realistic unholster? Yes. Yeah. That, that's so okay. it'd be, you know, more of stuff like that where you could take mm -hmm. it out and flip it around, but then, you know. Would it be like a hardcore mode? Well, I think you could make it a, a mode in itself or it's yeah. just an option because players want to play that way. Making it a mode makes it something then a challenge. It's a challenge then, so we can add more challenging things in there. Yeah, it's not just a oh, another way to play. So right, right. And I, yeah. I, as the designer, I'd probably prefer more of making it you know gamify the whole thing and make it more of a mode. Yeah, yeah, same. Or or like even uh, just like one of those set dungeons where it has yep. to be that hardcore mode. Yeah, right, so I, I, right. Like kind of a mode. Cool. All right, you want to go to the next next room? Sure. Did Let's we, do it. I there's think one here. we're going this way. Oh, there is that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Cool. All right. So hey, we're this going one actually from a connected mine. to a cave. Yeah. So into this a works. cave. <laughs> Sometimes it works. Perfect. Oh, he totally dodged it. He, he didn't dodge it. He blocked it with his weapon. That That's another thing. Oh, did that he? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It like, he it barely clanked on top of his weapon. And then, yeah, it's tough luck. Tough luck. And they're just unfazed, you know. Yeah. They don't flinch. They, yeah, no, they don't. Uh, <laughs> they don't have this thing called gravity. They have to abide by. So. No. <laughs> All good. Ugh. Oh no, I'm out of crystals. Oh, we need to be opening more boxes. That's, I totally forgot. That's what we gotta do. Oh man. Yeah, throwable swords are so satisfying. There's one. Uh, there you go. Gem. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So okay, I got one gem. Nice. Oh yeah, and man, tossing it into this is just so satisfying. And, and having this big cave go up and boom. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so clean. Yeah. That it's that is one of my things. favorite things. Yeah. It, actually, the gest like I talk about that gesture based kind of stuff in mm -hmm. in Magic, that is like a gesture in and of itself. Taking out that gem and having to place it on that just makes it satisfying in sure. itself. So, yeah, I like that kind of stuff, even if it takes a little bit longer. Which which is weird. I say that, but then I also don't have the gesture based like grab your pouch. I I only have the press the button and it opens. Um, but I think that I think I do that because I just accidentally grab my belly oh, too much yeah. for some random reason. That's why right. we added it too, like having just other options. Yeah, yeah. The more it. options, the better, in my opinion, yeah. for the most it part. It seems to be that way in VR too. Like, yeah, it's, especially with locomotion and accessibility, oh, the yeah. more we can add, you, yeah. you know, you're bringing more of yourself into the experience. You know, physically moving and everything, and different heights and different. You know, people are playing seated. People are. You know, some players are comfortable moving through the environment, some aren't. And so having all the options, the more options, the better. You know, it yeah. takes a lot more time to implement everything. And sometimes you think you have it all. And then someone says, well, what about this? And we'll just add it to our list of, you know, features that accessibility features will add to this game and then our, you know, future games as well. So. Yeah, that's what we got the Discord suggestion thread for. Exactly. If you're not on the Discord, <laughs> people, go to the Discord and make your suggestions. Well, sorry, don't make the suggestions. Look for the other suggestions, upvote really? those yeah. suggestions, and then make more suggestions if Pile they are on the ones you like. So we can see. Exactly. We can then see, kind of see where they're at, you know. And, yeah. And, and, and like, I, I say that. And some people might just think like, oh, me putting on in a suggestion, they're never going to look at that. But you really do. Like I've, I've seen random people just put in a random suggestion and like the next update, it's magically fixed and it's yeah. not magic. It's you guys actually reading stuff and like taking input from the community and uh, improving the game based off of it. So well, we, we try and get to as much as that as we can. Some of the features yeah. are, are going to, you know, 
conflict with you know where we see the game going or the features we think are going to bring in more players or broaden the appeal yeah. of and those are usually coming first right okay, we do have the business to run and then we have the other side of things where all these little features well that's an easy one we can implement or we agree with that or we hadn't thought about that or i'd never yeah. seen that happen before there's so many cases where you know we'll send this around to the whole team and I didn't know you could do that or there here's an exploit that we need to fix because affecting new players right. who may come in that someone is you know warping through all the <laughs> through all the, the secret doors and oh, how did you do that and yeah, you know, there yeah. Are things we definitely want to fix so please you know I love that the community is so willing to share those ideas and share those exploits and share any feedback they have and we do our best to try and listen to as to all of it and make plans to fix it and address it yeah right and and disclaimer just because you put a suggestion in there does not mean it's going to instantly go into the game kind of like i was saying right <laughs> but yeah there there is still a uh i guess uh I, I don't know the word for it but you guys check and like have to make sure it works and the community like it, it can't just be one random suggestion and right. out of nowhere it goes into the game that's not how it works yeah, but oftentimes it's it it sparks some inspiration too. You know, I can't right. think of one off the top of my head, but in general, you know, in general terms, we have our idea of where we we're taking these things, right? Or, you know, we have like the sandbox mode, and if someone says, "Well, what if you add this?" Well, maybe that's hard to implement across the whole game, but maybe it fits in this new mode, and yeah. now we can we'll, we'll put it in here, or we'll take this idea and like, oh, a lot of people are talking about this, and it's something we've thought about. Let's try and put it in that other feature that we're thinking about, you know. Yeah. And so it may come about, it may come in its own new form that maybe the original poster didn't think about. But even us, we didn't think about it. And it's like, oh, those two go together now. Like, Yeah. Yeah. No, that I, I've definitely seen some of those where, like, some suggestions will just end up matching together. And, like, sure. you just, they're three months apart and have nothing to do with each other. But then they, like, end up coming to the same conclusion almost so yeah I, i've seen that also you made me think uh the sandbox again and one thing that a lot of people have been discussing uh I, I think since the game came out and still it's a discussion point that i've seen pop up pretty often recently is damage numbers um yeah and like i i know i think we talked a little bit about that before uh but like sandbox especially do you think there will be the option for us uh, to see those damage numbers maybe just in the sandbox or have an option like by default I I'm guessing almost everybody if not uh, most people want no damage numbers by default but then having that option to have I think it'd be a great numbers. option we've okay. talked about it on and off and yeah. we hadn't talked about it for sandbox so it would make sense there it would make yeah. sense to release it with this next update We'd have to. I think it'd be a good setting to to, to apply globally. You know, you can okay. just toggle it on, and and then you can have the the points, you know, yeah, either bouncing off or just kind of floating up above the enemy. That seems right. like that would be the the quickest and simplest implementation. Well, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Um, I was thinking three options. I mean, not to like okay. uh boast. Uh, Triple the word. Just, just go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I I was thinking. Like we we've got our health, our sure. gold, our our kills. Why not just have one number that shows up after you hit an enemy? You get a number right there. That's the number that you most recently damaged the enemy with, and that that would just be a setting. Of course, you could have like the damage appear above the enemy, kind of like Beat Saber when you're striking the thing. There's a little number for a second, yep. Um, yep. or you could have like an overlay, like a hopefully non-invasive or not super invasive overlay of the damage of just like kind of a list or just one at a time. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think basically any implementation, people just want to see the numbers eventually. Uh, and yeah, no, that would, that would be really, really cool to see added. Yeah. I think that we can come up with something there for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, cool. Yeah. We, we got to get to PC VR at some point, but let's, uh, continue the dungeon here. Let's do it. Sweet. Find some more gems for us. And ooh, a key. Nice. 
this was a dead end, huh? I guess we're still looking for the, the lock. We yeah, the I skeleton key. well, right, right. Well, I guess the skeleton key lock is or the podium. Oh, it's just right up here. Right up here. here, actually. Yeah. If for some reason this map, oh, it's not here. Oh, okay. I thought for sure it's like always here, but I guess it could be anywhere in the dungeon. In a different room, yeah. Yep. Maybe it's in this one. Probably not. Maybe the next. Hope one. Don't see it. Yep. Ooh, ooh! I can perfectly use my gravity staff in Perfect. here. Perfect. Yeah, that's Give what it's for. These, that's what the pits all are these for. Enemies. <laughs> Heck yeah! Oh wait, I can't do it to the bugs, can I? Nope. Oh. <laughs> but I, I can freeze them out of the air. Uh oh, this is actually harder than I thought. Okay, we're good. Oh man, already out of gems. <laughs> yeah, if we had started with nine gems, that would have been perfect. Yes. <laughs> perfect. Actually, did we talk about that before we started this dungeon, or was that? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, the the storage of the gems. Yeah. What, yeah, that what, was, at the was table. that? Okay. Yeah, we were already recording at that point. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Um. All right, and then we got down here. That's a dead end. Let's see if there's a key or. Ooh. Boxes. I gotta always get the boxes now. Another key. Oh yeah, one of my favorite spots of key locations is right down there. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, I, I realized that very late into my experience with this game, and just like being able to see that I don't know everything about the game, even though I thought I, I kind of did. <laughs> It's it's just refreshing. <laughs> it's sure. pretty cool. Yeah, that's when we did that. The randomize the loot. So yeah, yeah, it's it's the little things though, like that. Like you come in and wait, there used to there's always a key here, but now it's not. Yeah, and actually the yeah. randomization, it kind of like, I guess this is kind of out of nowhere, but the fact that we can like go from room to room and it's totally randomized, but it just ends up making sense out of nowhere. That is really magical in and of itself. It just especially with new players where they just have no ex expectations they don't know what to think but then right. they go into the dungeon and they're just amazed that wow i'm going from this place to this place and it just makes sense like we just went from a mine and we kind of like went up a little bit and now we got this entrance into an open area it just it kind of makes sense i i don't it know you might have sense. a different take here but <laughs> there's a mine in here somewhere yeah there's there's a cave below here and <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sometimes you, it works out, you know, and it's you, the, the stairs help. Like you were saying, like we, we went up, you know, and so we yeah. don't have any height type thing like that. We had talked about that um, when we were developing the the randomization to where like okay. you go up so high and then you're only going to get this subset uh -huh. of rooms. And I think okay. we could probably do something like that now. We have enough rooms, but when we launched, we had still a decent amount, but we've added quite a bit yeah. after launch, you know. As right. we continue to, add, there'll be new some new rooms in the next update too. That's that's always something we like to sprinkle in. It's, you yeah. know, we have a bunch that are that are like half finished, or we've started them, and it's like let's take these and finish these up and get them in. And it's yeah. even for you know players like you who who think they know everything about the game. They've been to every corner. They haven't. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I mean, <laughs> I definitely haven't. Get some new rooms, you know. And that's yeah. that's exciting. So. Yes, it is. It sure is. And and yeah, the randomization element to that of like, you never know when you're going to find that next room and you never know if you have seen all of the rooms because it's randomized. That's true. Yep. Kind of like, with the sandbox, that randomization and that like unknowingness will kind of dissipate, but it depends. I mean, there's definitely like, you might not put all of the rooms into the sandbox or like any of the rooms into the, into yeah, the sandbox. Yeah, the way it so works is it's going to be an arena. An arena. Okay, yeah, yeah, so it's a custom built arena that no one has seen yet, and no, right. you haven't played it yet. And then it's, yeah, you'll see. But it's it's cool. fun to just cool. kind of play around in an arena in a, and just kind of get a game going quickly. Just hop yep. in and just play around. Yep. So, I agree. Go up here. Cool. Yeah, yeah let's go you up know, here. If players like it. We'll be adding more arenas, which would be cool. So. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I I think it will be a pretty big hit. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's one of those things too that, as like I was saying, as we add more features, if we add more weapons, we can even use that mode as a good test. You know, if we don't want to add a weapon type to the entire game, because that's a lot of work to implement a whole new weapon. But if we had just one that we're trying out, maybe it's a a morning star or something to what that it's only available in the sandbox. 
and then we test it out there and then it graduates to a full game. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think Oops. that is a great idea. And yeah, no, having the community be able to work with things. Oh, wow, we're both frozen. Good for us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, having the community be able to work with those kind of things. And uh, it, it's almost as if you're developing with the community, which you already kind of have been. Yeah. Like the, the community input has been pretty valuable and, and has helped. But yeah, the fact that you're able to do that sandbox and kind of giving them the tools to develop themselves is like, that's pretty cool. That, sure. that is definitely, definitely something that strikes my interest and it kind of opens up more opportunities. Like I'm thinking for myself, I could create like pre-made dungeons and do like challenges for my YouTube channel or something. And, and that's something that is now open to everyone. They can do that kind of creative stuff that I feel like for some reason, VR in general just has like a ton of people that go into sandbox modes and that's all they do. They just yeah. go into a sandbox mode and just goof around. And that's yeah. like, you could do that now with Dungeons of Eternity. Well, not now, not now, but pretty soon. Not, yeah, soon. <laughs> You'll be able yeah. to do that. And yeah, no, I, I see that being pretty, pretty awesome, pretty huge. So, it's and it's something stuff. that you know we plan to add, you know, onto over time. So hopefully there'll yeah. be more features and right. Yeah. Even if it's not perfectly polished when it first releases, it will eventually build up and get better and better as we go. Just like everything. I know play, players will always have feedback. So yeah. they'll have feedback about the new the new mode and you know. Yeah. You're not gonna make to everyone it. happy either. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Well, I, I think you're gonna make the vast majority of people happy and you already have. So there's that. But love doing that. All right. Uh oh yeah, I do have the map. I for, kinda forgot that I did. But yeah, it looks like we gotta gotta go right and then left. Leave this little room, and then we can finish it out into this bigger type room. Well, there's oh. a yeah, there's a dead end over here. We can go check that out. Sweet. Let us do it. Into the dead end. Oh, I like this room. So we're going from a cave to a cave. This is Hey, it's good. working out. Yes, it is. <laughs> Are there any enemies in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just, just such a big room. They all spawn on different floors. <laughs> oh, you know what I can do? I can... Oh, I got to put a gem on. Here. Okay. I can bring this guy to the top and then just drop him to the bottom. Do they take fall damage? Yeah, but... Yep. See? <laughs> <laughs> is, is it like a variable type of fall damage? Or is that something we're going to find out when we get our, our damage numbers? Yeah, you know, I'm, I I don't think it varies. I think it's just, you know, certain enemies, they're going to have more health. So some... And I think oh. when you zap them with the gravity staff, you're doing damage. So they, they may be right on. Yeah. And they're almost They might health. be basically dead already after you right. zap them and then once they hit the ground it's just they're goners just yeah. enough right right um so over here this is also one of my favorite key spots that i also didn't know about <laughs> for a while and yeah i just happened to find another right there uh oh no <laughs> are you uh not using haste this run i don't think so yeah oh you can't even teleport up there huh oh no. interesting you're not supposed yeah. to be up there <laughs> I thought you were going to well, get up there and, hey, look at all these holes I found in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, Just we're, uh, we, the key's not supposed to be up there, I guess. You got to go tell your, your key developer not to put a key <laughs> yeah, up there. Don't put a key up there. <laughs> but yeah, I actually have plenty of keys. You should take these. Not that we're going to run into another seven. You already have five? I have, I have five now. Wow. Okay. And we're Yeah, up. I guess. That's another thing. Um, is there ever a a goal to have it more of a set amount of keys and like you find the amount of keys to get to the next dungeon? Three, or with the like storage, will we be able to store those keys for the next dungeon? Not not keys. Okay. And Just the other, gems. your first question, yeah, that would be 
we could do that. It gets tricky if, you know, you lose a key. We have to, we'd have to make mm. sure that there's a way to, like right now, even if you take the skeleton key and drop it, if you holster and drop it in a pit or something, it's going to reholster. But if you hadn't holstered it, it goes back to the pedestal. So there's all these little safety right. nets so that you can't lose them the important right. items so for keys i think we'd probably just give you more skeleton keys and up that number right now there's there's only one you know per dungeon and but we could have three or or whatever and they maybe open different gate you get to choose which gate you want to open first and explore that way okay there, but what about we could like, definitely go farther with it you know yeah what what about like chess though when when you don't find enough keys like th this dungeon we're we're more than yeah. good we have yeah. plenty of keys but some dungeons people just don't find enough keys for all it of their sh there chests. should be enough yeah. and it could be that they just didn't find them yeah oh okay. there should be enough cool. for the for the chests sweet sweet that's good to know if not yeah, then no, I, either you missed them or i'm wrong which is possible yeah. <laughs> no I, I mean i think that as i've played more it's become less of an issue and i think that's just okay. because i I kind of know more of the spots where they're hidden and I know yeah, that they that kind sense. of are hidden sometimes. Um, but yeah, as a new player, I, I feel like a lot of people just don't know where to look. And so I'm pretty sure I hear those complaints more from new players sure. rather than people who have been sure. playing for a while. Um, so yeah, I was just bringing that up more so for the new players, but it, it's good yeah. to know now, whenever they say that I can say, you have enough keys, go find them. <laughs> they, there should be enough. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess we we don't confirm that. Should but, yeah, but yeah, should be. So you know, uh, sometimes things fall through the world. But I think we've gotten yeah. most of that figured out. Right, right. I, I think so too. It's it seemed pretty well. I mean, as I've been a player, less and less glitchy as we've gone. Yeah, and and who knows? Maybe a, a update will randomly make glitch come back. But then I'm it sure happens. It'll <laughs> exactly. But cool. Um, map. Uh, we don't even need this anymore. All we got to do is go straight. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah I think so. Straight and there we straight go. Two more rooms. Sweet. Let's go do it. All right. PC VR. Yes. Um, yeah. Is, well, is there anything we didn't like touch on? Is there cool stuff that I don't know? Like, tell me. It's going to be the <laughs> same. It'll be the same game. You know, okay. they're not going to have anything that this no game will have except for, uh, you know, better visuals. We're doing a pass there to make, you know, it's going to have better lighting and we'll do yeah. a few other things and it looks nice and sharp and it runs at 90 frames, you know, it's Sweet. nice and smooth. And so it's a, it's a nice experience in that. In that. So yeah. it's going to, it's, you can wish list it now. The, store, the Steam page is up. And we are aiming already for this here. Cool, perfect, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> uh, they will be they will be cross play with with Quest headsets. So Sweet. the pool of players hopefully will will grow a little bit. Yeah, that was definitely a question. Be nice. Perfect. So that's the goal is is this year. That is definitely what we're aiming for. Game development. Yeah. You know, things happen. So if it slips till next year, that is what what happens. But definitely, our goal is this year. Cool. Yeah, no, that is exciting. Um, wow, this year. Yeah, it's, it's crazy to think we only have like three months left yeah. of the year. But and you have holidays yeah, so thrown in there and uh, so that, you know, life gets busy. So we do our yeah. best. Yep. But it's yep. it's tough to commit to dates when, well, really yep. when we, luckily we don't have to. Isn't it? We don't have a publisher or some big company. Yeah, exactly. Us. We have to, or, you know, shareholders. All you have is, do. <laughs> yeah, you just have greedy, greedy consumers. <laughs> But the we want to you know, deliver, you know, the best yeah. experience we can, and we we want it to be polished when it comes out. And yep. I'd love to go through every room, and you know, you know, we want to do the the lighting adjustments so we have like nice real time lighting on. Right. You know, you just walk by the torches, and you see the nice shadows being cast. It's cool, you know. It, That's it looks, awesome. It so, but it, there's some work still to do there, and it yeah runs pretty it, well. So, it, but right. making sure we support all the right heads that there's a there's a a lot more headsets than we remember <laughs> there being. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're going to support the big ones at first. And then, you know, if some slip through or whatever, we'll, we'll catch them in an update. You know. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm guessing, uh, 
are you guys going to be trying to make it so that when you do these updates, it'll be easy to push them out with like PC VR and standalone at the same time. And they kind of like, as you're developing, it's easy to just do the exact same thing yes. for each. Is that okay? Cool. Absolutely. That's, we definitely would like all the updates to come out, you know, at the same time so that they can continue yeah. to play with each other. Sweet. as well and, and it's not multiplying your work or anything like you don't have to do like that's where we double the amount of stuff or do you there's some extra work doubling okay. it's it's not too much extra work okay but you know that's so good. for example the best example i could give is maybe the lighting pass so yep. each new room that we build or each, each new mode that we have new new levels because there's some modes coming there's a new mode coming I may have talked about it before. Um, I think you did. Uh, but, I mean, there's the sandbox mode, but then the other one, you know, I think, has been mentioned, but I don't know of the specifics. So. Like the social lobby, we'll have to make yeah. a lighting pass of SOS that works on PC. And then, if, yeah. you know, the quest lines or the missions and the, the fixed dungeon stuff that we have talked about, but we're going to have to go through those, and that's a whole other pass to do. And they're not, it's not a lengthy, you know, it's not a huge time-consuming task we try to make yeah. that as streamlined as possible and then yeah when we push a quest build we can also push a, a steam build so they're on par with each other so we Sweet. you know tools are so important i think we talked about this last time it's so important to build good tools yep to make these things easier down the mm -hmm. road yeah because you had like that ground up type approach it yeah. made it easier to yeah that's awesome um i feel like there's oh yeah yeah so PC VR is going to be huge for me as a, a content creator. Yeah, I've kind absolutely. of spoke to that a little bit. Yeah, um, we're excited about like, that. Yeah, yeah. So it, it will make it easier for a lot of people to make content. And right now, like, it, it's still fairly easy to just record a video. You got to adjust your settings in the Quest a little bit. And you don't have to use the MetaQuest developer hub like we do. You don't have right. to go through all these difficult things. It's, it's still fairly intuitive to get those recordings. But now... Or I guess not now, but soon we will be able to get these really high quality recordings, even higher than what we already have, which is amazing. Um, and it'll just kind of be more seamless. We just yeah, gotta just record the the video of our screen, or just like a screen capture, rather than having to go through some other weird set of quests or VR and loopholes. <laughs> and the game should look better, so it makes the game yeah. look better, which is great too. So yeah. And I'm not sure if we've talked about this or, or I think we were talking offline a little bit earlier about spectator mode and things like that. Like we have, we talked about that last time. Yeah. Like that and like no clip and all these developer type things that, yep. you know, we had like a spectator mode where a fourth player could join in and kind of act as a cameraman. And that's how we get our you know three player, you know, shots and yep. the, the trailers and things like that. At yeah. some point being able to expose that to content creators even as simple as that, like a spectator mode, if we can get, it's really fun to fly around and watch a, a co-op match in this game yep. and be able yeah. to expose that for content creators like yourself. That would be really right. useful. That would be pretty huge. Yeah. And um, I, I mentioned underdogs. They oh, yeah. recently with the sandbox up, actually not with the sandbox update. I think since they had it on PC VR, cause it's, it's one of those games is PC VR and quest, but yeah. yeah, on PC VR on that release, they, had those cinematic spectator type features and yeah you can kind of just like choose an anchored uh, spectator mode where it anchors the camera to or like the pc camera pre pc view to like right behind your head in the sure. neck yeah and it just like shows that third person type view and you could have it anchored to something else actually like in the arena that you're in or you could have it like you could have that free look kind of like you're talking about. And I'm I'm guessing that these features are like widely known for developers. So I'm probably not telling you anything new here, but it is just something that I'm excited about because I've seen it in action and I'm really excited for it to come to Dungeons of Eternity as well. I'd have to see how they implemented that then. You know, we have a yeah. follow mode, like similar to what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And it's through a menu and, and we'd want to make that as streamlined as simple as possible to be able to pull up and quickly tweak or you know what object can you actually you know attach to do we have to go through each room and add you know little, you know key points that you can move to camera points or something it's or can you put up you know a, a virtual camera somewhere and 
there's all sorts of ways we could do it. And I think we'd release something and let, you know, content creators like yourself tell us, oh, we would like this feature or if we could do this. That's all we need to be able to pull off this type of shot, you know, and right. it would be really cool to add more cool. of those features. You know, I think it's something we can add to both, but that, you know, that could be something that I could see exclusive to Steam. Just being, yeah. it's more of a PC focused, you know, you're recording more content, but I think you, know, you would release it on both. Cool. Yeah, no, that's exciting. Well, good to hear. Um, yeah, let's, let's go to the next one. I have more good. questions, but we've been talking for a while. Don't want to bore the audience. <laughs> so. Hey, do you have a gym by chance? <laughs> Uh, I, am, I got I one. Out. Oh, yeah, you have one. All right. Oh, wait, wait. We got to do the thing. Um, catch it. Uh oh, watch out for that oh, guy. Oh no, no. Wait, wait. We'll we'll do this again. We'll do this again. Uh, don't don't pick it up like that. That's lame. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, so close. Here we go. Here. One, one more time. One more time. Oh, oh. But so you know, may not work oh, until no, I'm right. the owner. You're right. Owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I forgot about that. Yeah. I can just throw it way yeah. up in the air like this. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Oh, Got beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I guess now that we, we saw that in action, is that something you're going to add? Where you can? <laughs> it's tricky <laughs> with the ownership. Yeah. yeah. And multiplayer is just complicated. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, okay. I'll take that potion. We have plenty of keys to open this nice spooky room, which we actually had this exact same spooky room in the last yeah we did hey it's a mine too it, it makes sense yes perfect we are in the mines of moria sweet oh and i'm full on potions now all right, all right. sweet we got the spooky mine yeah no i <laughs> this is it is just it's so cool this setting, this environment, the darkness. Oh. And then I guess, I guess with real time lighting, there's going to be some more uh, opportunities for you guys to mess around with dark settings and <laughs> different lightings. So that will be. Yeah, I'd, I'd, we'd love to add more dark rooms. I know yeah. a lot of players like them and some players don't like them. So. But hey, I mean, those could be like set rooms or set dungeons where if you really want that spooky experience, you can have it. But if you don't, then you don't. Yeah, we'd have to figure out a way to filter that out for players. The host could maybe decide. Yeah. Yeah, that could be something. Um, Not much in yeah, there. The, I don't, yeah, there's no chest. I mean, we could open it, but we don't need to. That's just, we'll keep going. Yeah. Oh, wait. Explosive barrel. Oh, yeah. Another one over there. there we go. Oh, yeah. I do like uh, the one of my favorite parts about staffs is being able to open the barrels with no problem. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm not getting a big enough swing. <laughs> when I do my stabs on ice enemies, it's tough to, to get that, I guess, big enough range of motion is what I'm lacking, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe oh, the speed of the so. swing, something. Yeah. Oh, when they don't break, sometimes. Yeah, when they don't break. Yeah, I I do like to try to thrust them when they're in ice, but then yeah, that kind of stuff happens where it's not. <laughs> it's like hitting the wall. Not powerful enough. <laughs> but I mean, they're ice. It's it's tough to break ice in real life. Why should it be it's easy true. in here? Sweet. Okay, we are on to the second to last room. Uh-oh. Nice. Oh, Ooh, nice. <laughs> I do love that. That is probably why the gravity staff is my favorite staff. It's it's a lot of fun. Yes, it is. And some of those, you know, they don't have to be perfectly balanced. It's, it's a, uh, no, this picks up monsters. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. basically what it was. So. No, I mean, like, to be fair, it's, uh, 
it can be very strong when there's cliffs yeah. and it can yeah. also be very weak when the enemies when it's tier seven and you get surrounded Correct. by enemies it just doesn't really help you with anything so it's even though you say that it is pretty balanced <laughs> <laughs> in that so. in that sense it is balanced yes be able yep. to use the environments yep. and everything to your advantage yeah but i guess if we made a pvp game out of this it would be uh kind of questionable to have that right. <laughs> if you're able to just like Picking grab up the people. gravity staff and yeah just like <laughs> swing the people around that would be be the vomit be staff you know yes. <laughs> yeah it would yeah I, that would not be something that i would see you guys <laughs> doing <laughs> so so i'd be curious how I mean, we've talked a lot internally about adding pvp or you know a, a separate build of the game or a separate mode or enabling yeah. friendly fire and let players play around and see how it plays out tell me what what was your um experience with dungeon defense like did you keep up with it at all do you know much about it well just a little bit yeah okay. initially yeah because i at first i was pretty skeptical thinking like oh this is it's not built into the game like people got to learn the rules and it's right that's not how the game was meant to be played but as we got into it more and like it just became a tournament and a fun not really toxic tournament it just yeah, yeah. kind of made sense and it was really fun and it didn't have to be player versus player and nope. like fist versus fist uh it was person versus environment against person versus environment competing who can do the better against the environment You're right which i find really cool i thought and, it was really cool <laughs> yeah I mean, yeah. it maybe becomes, you know, maybe we can implement something like that or, you know, some sort of rule set or yeah. let players develop their own or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To toot my own horn again, um, I did make a suggestion post about, like, okay. right after that tournament, I was just, I was all for it. I was sold on the dungeon defense and thinking, like, oh, my gosh, we got to make this immediately <laughs> or or as fast as humanly would be possible, which maybe never, but I kind of just like came up with a list and, and thinking more and more about it, I feel like if that was engineered properly to be in the game and you didn't have to learn the rules and it just made yeah, sense, exactly, that would be so fun of just, just like one of those things that you could endlessly do, which obviously we can endlessly explore dungeons, but having even more like i guess interactivity and like different activities within the dungeons within dungeons of eternity that just i think that idea seemed pretty cool but i the the person that made that kjorg that community or the uh he runs his own guild um yeah he actually was the first like big skeptic of that idea that i suggested that saying that like there's probably so many other modes that would be way better than the mode that we kind of just like mishmash together and i'd love to see it i mean i'd i'd love I'm to see read him it. yeah i'd love to see gotta, him suggest and then whatever you guys think we got to check it out yeah i think yeah. it'd be really cool i i think there's a lot of things yeah there's so a lot many of things we can add to the game yeah you know <laughs> there's a lot of potential with like a lot of potential i mean you're, you're adding that social hub and then yep, exactly. from that social hub it will be more of those multiplayer type potential things and yeah it's it's a uh, it's a that's the hope with that space is that it's not only just you know at first where you can just kind of meet people and run around and climb things and explore there hopefully it becomes the idea is that it becomes this launch pad for other modes yes. even like launching into now we may or may not do this but one of the ideas is that you could launch into sandbox from there but with more than three players so that would like be that? The mo the areas where, in that area, we can gather more people, and they can chit chat and go join an outpost and play through dungeons together. Hey, I'm looking for this type of player. Hey, I'm looking for someone, just anyone I'm new to the game, or I've been playing this whole time. Any new players, you want me to show you around or anything? I think there'll be some cool opportunities there, social engagement there, and they're using it as well to launch into other fun modes. And even if they're like these little one-off things of, you know. We'll have 
we we have lots of ideas. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. No, I'm be, sure. You know, you're launching in a sandbox, but now with two extra players, that that changes things a bit. You know, that's fun. Yep. Or you know, launches into dungeon defense, and there's a the rules are in the game, and it's you don't have to learn anything. You're just kind of taken through it. You know, intuitively. Yeah. And, and or or it's like a a station, a home environment for you to s spectate somebody. If like these spectator sure. features come, you could just spectate a dungeon that's ongoing or something hey, like that. That would be it's really cool. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you could kind of like that environment would just be a chill environment we already got that fireplace but like there could be a little cinema area within the lobby that would where be you really cool yeah. Of yeah, yeah that... i wonder how we i guess yeah that'd be interesting <laughs> <laughs> i'm thinking yeah. I, I know what it would look like <laughs> right right because the like idea how that you implement it yeah it's supposed to be this bigger outpost for the yeah. you know the star guild and it's this old I don't want to give too much of it away, but it's yeah, don't no spoil it. You know. <laughs> but it would told that would that would make sense. That would be cool, like a little viewing area, you know, cool. where you can kind of peek into the other explorers and what they're what they're exploring and what they're doing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. No, I, I'd be excited about that for sure. Um, sweet. Well, uh ah, oh, man, I f I feel like there was one more thing I wanted to get to. Um, which I mean, we can just we can fight this end boss thing here real quick. Uh, end room. What what do we call this? What is the end end thing? The, the end. Uh, the drone. The the final fight. Yeah. The final fight. <laughs> yes. Yes. But oh, also the. Oh, okay. Cool. That was fixed. That used to be broken. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't know when. When did you fix that? Was that like the last I... update? I'm not sure when it got fixed, but I know it stopped working there for a bit. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I actually, that was the first time that I have properly used that, so that's exciting. Cool. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, I put him into the ceiling. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. See, this is the downside of the gravity staff here. Okay, I can bring him back but down. You though. can that's take good. him out. Yep, yep, perfect. Ugh. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, oh man. Blocking my every move. Here, I'm, I'm going to toss this guy to you for you to kill Oh, that's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> That was a terrible Big toss. What am I doing? Here. Yeah, let's toss this guy. See if I can stab him. Oh, that I ran too. out of gems. Do you have any more? Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I do. Oh man, tough luck. It's okay. I I was able to uh, toss it to myself a good amount, so I think we're we're okay there. Maybe I can find another gem. All right. While well, while you kill everything, I'm gonna find a gem here. <laughs> I'll distract them, don't worry. Oh, perfect, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, that's too bad. I opened all the chests, no more. Uh-oh, don't die here. What's this? Oh, it's a key. That's not gonna help us. Ooh. really satisfying to block arrows with my weapons with like a not shield weapon yeah but it hardly Definitely. ever happened because it is difficult <laughs> yeah the imps but, like that throw the the axes, axes those are a lot of fun to, to block because yeah. you can just lift I, your weapon above your head and you can block i agree yeah those are a blast Ooh, long weapon yay we did it um, did you already get all the batteries up here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Voila. Oh, oh, you're gonna do that? <laughs> uh, would be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> you're that guy. <laughs> did Did you actually intentionally do that, or is that something that no. kind of just made its way? <laughs> okay. That's Wait. The, the all the physics and and things in the game allow for fun stuff like that to happen. Yeah, that's that is awesome. All right, continue.
Here we are. Okay. So, I actually made a list of stuff I wanted to talk about. Okay. We already did. We talked about PCVR. We talked about Social Hub. Challenges and assignments, I would include that in Sandbox. We kind of talked about that. Leaderboards, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about that more. Um, Incentives, maybe a little bit more. And... uh, Oh, I guess let's start with this. Are there any shadow updates that you do, like a quick bug fix, a hot fix type things where you just send an update and don't notify anybody? Or is that not a thing? Pretty like much we we notify everyone when there's, okay. a, there's an update. Yeah, because there were a few well, players that said like, oh, I have this gigabyte update and nobody else does. And like, oh, really? Know, they, they were probably just out of date or just something. Probably out of date. Yep. Yeah. Um. And did matchmaking change at all? No. For some reason, okay, yeah, there, there was just a player that I, I played with recently who said that he, he felt like he goes to a lower account and he's matched with lower account level players and then he goes to a higher, but I guess that's just totally coincidence. Is that what it is? Sounds like? Yeah, I don't think we have that in the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that that's probably just coincidence. He ended up matching with the quote-unquote right people. Um <laughs> Cool. Well, so uh, leaderboard and assignments, sorry, incentives. Um, sure. The leaderboards first. We we kind of talked that about that with Sandbox, where oh, also do you do you want to sit down and talk about sure. this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sit sit down physically in real life? I'm have or to just find uh, a chair. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a, I I I'm okay if we don't physically I mean, sit down, but I'll just you. stand. Okay. Yeah, it's hard with that we don't have pass through anymore, so it would be tough to like create another boundary. But (laughs) um, so yeah. Well, I was saying leaderboards. Um, it's leaderboards in sandbox could be cool. Um, have you guys been looking into leaderboards anymore or uh, making any? plans towards having different leaderboards not just the like all-time leaderboard but like monthly leaderboards or like different types of leaderboards yeah we've in like friend leaderboards we've talked about that it's one of those that we may revisit at some point i think okay you know or add yeah other add other types of leaderboards now yeah. we do we will add leaderboard different types of leaderboards uh, or there will be leaderboards in the mega lobby and there may be something there where certain players are highlighted you know every week or or something like that but they'd have to be it'd have to we don't know yet about you know what things are going to be on the leaderboard there or you know it would be cool if we had like a dungeon of the week or something like that and everyone cha- goes into that challenge and then they show up on the leaderboard and then they they're in the maybe a hologram version of them is in like the statue room or something so yeah we've talked about other things like that and okay and but nothing like types of leaderboards but yeah nothing yeah yeah okay no that that's totally fair and i i think that um the mega lobby and the sandbox mode are like launch pads for yeah. thoughts about leaderboards and and uh i guess that kind of like sets the foundation for the potential of leaderboards from there so or or like more granular type leaderboards and and just different leaderboards. Exactly. Real quick, cool. can we stand yeah. up and go somewhere else because your character's looking? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Distorted. Character looking wonky. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> fine. It's um, the turning sideways, sitting down. It's. <laughs> okay. it's it looks. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. How about how about this? We we've got this Mr. Soul, Mr. Soul Keeper to here keep us go. company here. Yeah. Sweet. He looks good. Nice old keeper. Yeah, no, he is. Oh, and that scythe. Yeah. Eventually yes. we're going to get that scythe, right? I think so. <laughs> got to. It's, uh, someday, someday. And we'll we'll get these uh these poison potions, whatever yeah. those are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And may, maybe maybe we'll even get the green crystal around his necklace or we'll be able to steal it from him. Be a thief. That would be cool. He's he's yeah. such a cool character. We I hope we can pull off some of the things we've wanted to do with him. You know, we've wanted to revisit Soul Harvest. 
and we wanted to give him a bit more backstory. We wanted to give him, you know, open this store up and do something else with him. So there's lots of ideas always tossed around and we'll see what we get to. Yeah. yeah it's a cool, cool character. He's very mysterious. Cool. He just kind of shows it's, up in here. He sure does. He sure does. Um, so yeah, we got leaderboards. I was going to talk a little bit about incentives, which I, I actually want to yeah. first mention, uh, God mode type potential stuff. Mm. I think we, we might've talked a little bit about this before. Um, but I recently played walkabout mini golf, which I'm sure you're familiar with the name oh, yeah. and it's, uh, like I, I didn't really expect it to be as good of a game as it is, yeah, but it's really good. because of, yeah, because of like these, these little features, they don't have like physics based combat or anything. I guess they kind of, they have like golf type, uh, physics, yep. but, um, just the way that they have these types of features with the, the God mode you turn into, well, I guess when you go to spectate the map, you turn into like this I big head that. and you can yeah. look, yeah, that it's type really of thing. Cool. If there was like a dungeon master in here, it, it just got me thinking because people have mentioned this before and I just think it would be all, it, it would be kind of like a D&D type experience or like yes. a Demio type experience of you could be the god while your teammates or maybe not your teammates, but like the, the little people that you're uh, <laughs> you're watching, your, your friends are struggling down there with all of the enemies that you're spawning and that seems like a cool thing it also seems like it would be a huge undertaking and like it would be a whole separate game but do you have any thoughts on that ideal that that kind of speculation yeah. it's not something we're actively working on necessarily you know the okay. sandbox kind of gets a little bit of it in there where you're able to kind of craft your waves yeah. and what enemies yeah. you fight and what weapons you play with totally but We've talked, you know, the, the way the dungeons are assembled, you know, they're kind of room by room. So you could theoretically have, make all the rooms and have a little dungeon builder and have a, a cool tabletop version that we can grab the pieces and assemble them. Or it's something we can do together that kind of looks like the, you know, we, we can look at the map together and it's basically a, a cube version of, you know, each room is a box. But you could do that or you can have, you could render the, the rooms and you can just kind of piece them together like, like a little puzzle. And yeah. then have some global setting on, or maybe each room you could you could change. Yeah, did you ever play the Doom, the new Doom games? They had Snap Map and Doom 2016. But basically, you go did through not. and piece together all these dungeon these these levels, and then adding gameplay. And it was really okay. cool, you know. So Sweet. something like that would be amazing. And yeah. like, hey, play my. There's so many ways it can go, right? Like, play my dungeon, and then you could view, you could just spectate. And it'd be really interesting to be playing someone's dungeon and then, like, the dungeon master shows up. Maybe he's not above you. Maybe there's rooms where there's, like, a, a mirror or something you can, like, yeah. see them looking in or there's or, an avatar. Or, like, the open, the yeah, open skies big, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Godhead up there. Yes. That would be pretty terrifying. Right. But, uh, yeah. But it would be really, really yeah. cool. You know, I'm and, playing I mean, that dungeon and that person's there watching or right. maybe they can even leave behind their, their, ghost version of themselves and they're in there somewhere and you have to find that there's so many things you could do with it yeah. and letting players craft the experience but also a real-time version would be cool too where you have four players you have someone going through and then we go to this next room there's no enemies but then all of a sudden like spiders start spawning from yep. everywhere <laughs> yep. or you know a, a ton of you know any type of enemy or traps all of a sudden turn on and yeah, yeah. you can just hear them laughing behind you or, or above you or, <laughs> or something, but he's the dungeon he or she's the dungeon master and they're they're yeah. trying to stop you from finishing it and they're you're just trying to fight your way out. I mean it's yeah. it feels like one of those features that almost inevitably will happen, whether it's this mm -hmm. game or you know, some spin off or, or something. But I feel like yeah. we have a lot of the pieces to be able to implement something like that. It's you know, maybe after all of this these content updates that we're focusing on then we can so those are the types of updates we yeah Be because yeah the more stuff that you get out there especially because you're building it more ground up than just yeah. taking it from other things and 
because you've got this sandbox mode, like maybe eventually the sandbox mode gets that top down view where you can see as sure. you build at like you are a god, but then you don't have like that multiplayer in that mode yet. But then all you have to do is put that god mode, that view that you have, and just kind of like put it in the multiplayer, which I know multiplayer is probably a lot more co complex than just pushing it in the multiplayer, but... Well, um, you know, like the sandbox kind of is multiplayer. You know, you'll be able yeah. to play the sandbox with multiple people, so right, right. the sandbox mode could be the avenue for this. You know, it yeah, could be... Yeah. It's You can play arena sandbox, or you can play where you have, like, these challenges and things like that. Yeah. It's not your own, or you can do, you know, dungeon sandbox, and you right. can craft your own dungeons, and someone and could... To be Plot fair, Christ like D and D itself as the game is basically just a big sandbox. Like you've yeah. got all of these tools and all of these stories and characters and whatnot. You just mash them all together, and you have like a dungeon master that you could like fit almost physically. Well, it would be digitally, but you could physically have this dungeon master that physically takes out pieces and puts together stuff rather than just reading a story and putting cards sure. and maybe having sure. some like animated characters but sure. yeah no it, it definitely it's uh but that would be cool is if you could add little bits of lore throughout your dungeon. oh yeah like, so you could upload your dungeons or something like that and then there yeah. could be a story in there like giving players yeah. those tools to be able to craft that stuff even if we, we don't think about all of those things how it could all work it's like here are the tools to do it and then players are going to go figure out some really clever ways to you oh, yeah. know put it all together and then share it and then that type of stuff people are going to play and be excited about and then we'll implement new features and so yeah yeah no, I yeah that's totally definitely agree. something that we've talked a lot about it seems obvious it seems like we have a lot of the parts it's yeah. yeah i think we'll get to it hopefully cool that is good to hear um i guess the last topic would be incentives uh and so leaderboards our incentives um kill counts our incentives just like uh incentives to play longer i yeah. know that a lot of people have just been talking about um i i play this game and i get to level 60 and i'm done i don't have yeah. any more incentive oh yeah leveling is incentive so True. is there do you have a push right now for more incentives or is that push just mainly focused on that like pcvr sandbox um and when do you think or like what features do you see for these incentives in the future yeah there there will be incentives in the the quest line or the mission we don't have that all scoped out so i don't want to say too much about that um, okay but that it, sounds it's in the works, very cool but yeah. so there are things like since they're fixed dungeons you're going to yes. go through and be able to replay them over and over and over again and there'll be multiple reasons why you would want to do that one it's it's maybe you want to always you want to show your friend this one thing in the game or you want to we want to okay. show you something in the game that maybe you don't get to see too often or you haven't seen since they're fixed dungeons we can even do like dungeon loops we can do multiple keys we can do uh this really really linear experience we can put you through there's a lot of things that we're we're yeah. tossing around it has ideas and it is definitely already started and it's coming along well but since with that then there'll be different difficult difficulties in each level so you can replay them again and then you'll have to beat them all to collect these rewards. Oh, and man. And there'll be these cool trophies that go in your room and things like that. So Wow. Th there will yeah. be... That, that in some ways, could take players... Now, they're going to be... There's not going to be, like, a hundred of these dungeons. There, there's only going to be a small set, but they're going to be handcrafted. Um, yeah. They'll be using some of the rooms from the game and the enemies, but it, there's going to be a lot of new content and there there will be new weapons and then new enemies to play. Okay. So it will be fresh. So you could start a new nice. character and play through the game that way and it should take you through the game. Sweet. And you'll have yeah. to play some random dungeons to kind of fill it in. But then yeah. to beat everything, you're going to have to be level 60 and you have to beat all those levels. So you know, for Sweet. players like yourself, you would this would add quite a bit of gameplay. Yeah. And yeah, and that the incentive is to beat them all in the hardest difficulty uh -huh. and collect all the trophies so sweet yeah no that that is something that people like myself uh i i definitely look forward to things like that um i i wouldn't really call myself a completionist but yeah. when it comes to a game that i love i'm going to be a completionist 
Um, and I, I will like soak up every ounce of things that I can do. And even like eventually maybe implementing leaderboards into those quest lines and like how yeah. fast can you do that? You can do speed runs Absolutely. with the quest lines. That type of I stuff so just too. seems it with seems the fixed pretty layout, awesome. We 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 know more about we have more control. Yep. You know, with the yep. random stuff, it's we're coming up with different type of dynamic systems. Yep. And yep. which is awesome when that works out because it's fresh and everything, but then doing speed runs on something that changes difficult to balance between two players, you know. So yep. a fixed level, every enemy spawns the same every time. Yeah, you can have some speed runs through it. Or, yeah, you yeah. know, only beat it with, you beat this with only a sword or only no potions. And there could be extra types of incentives there. Yeah. We and could, it, we can add later if we wanted to come back. It's like, now you got to beat these again. I don't know if players would like that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I mean, I, I would like that. Yes. Um, and I guess it kind of seems obvious, but I'm assuming you would have something like those quest lines tied to achievements within quest or steam or and or all of those types of things and have like get to level 60 achievement unlocked yeah. and finish the quest lines and achievement unlocked play with a friend achievement unlocked that kind of stuff we haven't done the achievements yet that's yeah. also one of those that is it wouldn't be that hard to implement we'd want to get there's some art, a little bit of art required for all the icons to make those look yep. pretty good and, and yep. consistent. And then, ha you know, people love achievements on Steam. So yeah. I think we'll get to it at some point. Will it, will the Steam version launch with achievements? No, it's not guaranteed. So, okay. But I know it's a nice incentive for players, you know, if there are yeah. 20 things to unlock. Um, and I mean, a, I, I feel one. like if you did have those achievements, they would be unlocked like if you are already level 60 when right. the achievements come would, out then you would get those achievements so it, it's yep. not like you're not working towards anything even if the achievements aren't officially out on steam or officially out on the meta store or or whatever meta horizon yeah and stuff and we'd want to have stuff like that to where you log in like oh yeah i yeah. already did all these things i've, I've completed 100 dungeons i've made it to yeah. level 60 i've complete i've i've gained a million gold all of that yeah. you know i've and I so, have 128 pages of weapons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Only 120 so far. Oh, We're getting bad. there. But <laughs> yes, uh, we'll, we'll get there someday. Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, is there already a system where it does track those things? Yeah, we so do track it, a okay. lot of stuff. It's okay, just cool. not surface to the player. Right, right. Okay. So yeah, eventually being able to see that would be pretty cool. But. No we rush. might even have like walk no distance rush. tracked. I can't remember if we have that. But that's a, that's, <laughs> That'd be you know, awesome. I would love I can't to see how many miles, yeah. how many miles I've ran in this game, or, or kilometers for those European folks. Yes, but, yes. Oh man, that is great. Well, yeah, I think that that was really good. Um, was, all yeah. of it, everything, and we we weren't even in. We weren't even doing a so showcase. We didn't have a a new build to test, but next time I feel that's, what, that's what we're going to do next time we're going to look at some new time. stuff even if it's yep. work in progress let's yep. re, you know i'd love to showcase the the sandbox arena before it's out you know show you the Sweet. new weapon might as well you know Sweet. yeah and i think excited. the last one we did was about a month ago do you yeah. think these monthly increments are is like a fair thing to do or should we be shooting for further or shorter i think we could even do more if, if you're up for it I'm totally up you know, for it. Yeah. I, I think we have enough coming down the line that we can show, even if it's. And we can do short things. Players too. are fine with, you know, some really early work in progress stuff. I would love to show some of that because it's really cool to yeah. talk about the early, the early work and like the, the where we're at in the development stage. I think. Yep. That would Getting be, some insight is is good. definitely. Yeah, nowadays I do feel like people really do want to see that behind the scenes type of stuff. It's, yes, um, you're right. And yeah, as a player myself, I I would love to see any work in progress and like even us just talking about stuff, we're not seeing anything, but I'm picturing it in my head and I'm excited for it. And just like seeing it kind of in action would be even more exciting than just talking yeah. about. It. So, yeah, no, I I definitely 
think that we could do that kind of stuff. And it could be short videos, like only five or 10 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes. Like it could be these shorter increments where we just hop in one day and do this. And then the next day or, or the next week this feature, or something, this we, yeah. we do this. Yeah. And we can just, a, as you see a feature that you think, oh, this would be cool on JJ's channel. Let's just go with it. Then yeah. we can do that kind of thing. And, and then obviously we can keep doing these discussion type videos as well. Um, yeah, no, I, I would love to, for one, like hear anybody's input. So whoever's watching this video, definitely leave in the comments below, um, what you think we should do or like what you want to see. We take feedback. So yeah. Any questions you want to ask us, you know, I, we should be able to get Mr. Scary in here next time. So maybe we can have two developers in here, which would be really cool. And yep. you can ask him all the technical questions you want because he's the engineer. <laughs> he's one of the engineers nice. on the team, so he can answer all of that, you know. And yeah. it's talk, we can show some of the new features as well in the next video. And yeah, cool. but if you have more questions or want to know more about anything, leave a comment and we will we can address it next time. Perfect, perfect. Well, I think that's a pretty good wrap up. Uh, is there anything else that you want to close with, or are you? set to go I no think i think was this was great. good i okay i'm sure there are there are definitely things that i didn't mention that are going to be in the update so that nope. i didn't mention everything that's a good thing yes. there's so many things that are in in the works that you know we thought they were going to release at a certain point or be mm -hmm. part of this update and then we found a better place for it so yeah we appreciate everyone's patience with this and uh just we're not going to have weekly updates are not going to have monthly updates even you know they're going to come when they're ready to be released they're yep. going to come when you know hopefully things are bug free and we've gone through you know a decent amount of testing we, we don't want to release broken yep. things um because mm -hmm. then we got to rush and get an, another update out and that that's tricky too yeah. tricky and, and you <laughs> you say updates you're talking about game updates but we can have these weekly developer Sorry. updates absolutely yeah. Yes. So. so I guess what I was trying to say is we have a lot of stuff in the works. Yep. And we're, we'll show some in development work, but then when it's finally released, it's going to come out when it comes out. We have our, our goals and we'll try and hit those, but we want to release polished updates. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Well, uh, I guess aside from that, I don't have much else to say. Thank you so much, Quaker X, once Thank again. Thank you, JJ. And uh, to everybody watching, thanks for watching. Uh, again, leave a comment. Uh, leave whatever. Go buy Dungeons of Eternity. Buy it for a friend. Buy it for your grandma and your husband and your wife and whoever else. Your kids. Yes, buy, buy it for everyone. You want. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a great game. Watch out for those sales. There was a 50% off sale recently, which was incredible. I got <laughs> a few, few friends to get in awesome. on that. But yeah, we uh, do that. That was people. a good one. That was... That was a good one. So we were yeah. happy to be able to, you know, work with Met on that one and, and put this put it on sale for that much. So heck yeah. Cool. Well, um, take care and peace out, everybody. And I, I realized the Soul Keeper guy was kind of just like mumbling in the background the whole time. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Maybe we'll that, stand that's here next fun. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or like at the top of the staircase. Yeah, at the here. top. Yeah. But I'll just talk to you okay. like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, funny stuff.